Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing the first half of my Watts Sold which will be for last week Monday through Thursday, October 16th through the 19th and if you're new to my channel I do two of these videos a week. We usually release one on Friday and one on Sunday and I just show you what's selling for me. I think that's the best way to show you, you know, things that you could be looking for um, and what they're selling for. Look, y'all, I'm doing it. I'm doing a whatnot show Saturday and I'm getting rid of all of the Barbie stuff that I have just been accumulating. Well, I'm not going to say all of it because I still have some bags that I need to sort out because it doesn't all look like Barbies. So I'm trying to at least keep as much as I can as Barbies. But I have some really, really cool stuff. Let me show you this guy. Look at this old can. I think the tail, uh, the thing on his bottom says 1960. Look, he's got his little flippers on. And I've got several original can outfits also. So if you're interested in Barbies, I think we've scheduled it for 4 o'clock Saturday. Eastern time but tons. Some of it is handmade and then some of it is Barbie stuff. So I've got to start getting some of these piles that I just don't want to deal with for eBay moving. Get them out the door. Let somebody else, you know, enjoy them. All right. Let me show you what, what's going on in eBay land. Well, I did actually sell some stuff on Poshmark and Mercari Nothing on Etsy, but they just seem to be on a halt. I think putting them on vacation for 10 days it just really, really halted a lot of my sales. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that things start picking up on my three other platforms. If you're new to the channel, I have been selling on eBay for 24 years. I did start branching out into some of the other platforms. I use this perfectly to cross list the things that I already have on eBay over to Poshmark, Etsy, and Mercari. I've tried other platforms, but so far I'm just those three. And Etsy's on, Etsy's on the fence as far as after fourth quarter if I'm going to keep doing it. So, all right, now let's get to it. Two things on Mercari, two things on Posh. This first item is a Harrods brown bear plush with the little British sweater. I actually, I grew up in Europe. I've probably talked about it previously. My dad was in the army and we spent most, most of my childhood um, in Germany. Um, but for my senior class trip, it sounds really spectacular, but we went to London, which is just really a boat ride from um, Europe, but we got to, uh, from Germany. Um, but we got to go to Harrods and just see Trafalgar Square and just, uh, Madame Tussauds Museum, all the things. It was just so much fun. But Harrods, it sold for $15. All right, and then these playing cards. I'm not sure if these were in that pile of playing cards that Robert picked up at an estate sale. It was basically, um, this room was like all kinds of stuff, but a lot of it was office stuff and cards and stuff like that. And it was fill a bag for $5. So he bought tons of this kind of stuff. But these playing cards sold for $11. Poshmark. This is a Prima Creations white bear stocking. Um, it's one of the sack kind. The, the sack is actually the down inside the pants. This sold for $32. And then these Vans Girls um, shoes with rainbows and clouds sold for $18. All right, now eBay. Lots on eBay to share. First thing is this Pendleton Classic Women's Blazer. It sold for $26. I have decided next week I am going to focus on clothes. I have tons of clothes back here that needs to be worked on. So hopefully I'm going to start getting, you know, several days that I'm going to work on clothing so I can get more of it listed um, because it's just piling up on us and Robert has so many other obligations we just can't seem to find a time where we both can work together at the same time to get clothes processed 
This jacket sold for $26, if I didn't say that already. Also, um, I do not do free shipping, so when I say something sold for $26, um, the buyer also paid additional for shipping. All right, this person bought two things from me, two Christmas items. This first one was these white flocked reindeer ornaments. I They were four inches tall. I had eight of them. I tend to pick up most um, Christmas ornaments that are flocked. Um, I see bears a lot of times um, and the, the reindeer um, and the Santa Clauses. So I, I tend to pick them up. This person paid $25 for the eight of them. And then this Mr. Christmas reindeer um, light was from the uh, estate sale that I was able to go do a private pick. They had one room that was full of just a lot of sports stuff and Christmas stuff. Um, so we picked that up and it sold for $30. So this buyer paid $55 for these two items. All right, this is a viewer sale. So thank you so much, Karen. Karen was watching one of my videos when I showed this little bear. Um, it is from Child World, and she had said her father had worked for that company, and it was just an instant nostalgia for her, so she did go ahead and order it from me, and it sold for $7. I find them actually kind of often around here, so, you know, I still have four more available. All right. This jigsaw puzzle, which is going to bring me into a different conversation. This is a White Mountain 1990s 1,000 piece puzzle. Robert and I like to do puzzles. We just actually started another one last night and we tend to put them together. If they're complete, then I go ahead and take pictures real quick, list them, and usually, you know, we make eight or nine or ten dollars for them. But several months ago at my reseller um, dinner that we do every month with some of the local resellers in our area, um, Trading Post Pickers, Scott, mentioned that he had changed his listings to the buyer pays actual shipping, the commercial rate that we all see when we print a label. Um, and I didn't do it right away, but then I decided to go ahead and give it um, a chance, especially for this fourth quarter. So at the beginning of September, I changed all of my listings that have calculated shipping, because it only affects calculated shipping, to um, the buyer pays actual, you know, our actual, right, the eBay rate. Um, I wanted to see how it was going to do. Now, for those of you who have been with me for a while, all of my items that are under a pound are flat rate shipping. I have um, set rates that I charge based on what the package is going to weigh. It's like $4.50 for four ounces, $4.95 for up to eight ounces, $5.95, and then $6.95 for 12 ounces and 16 ounces. So all of those are still the same, and I make a small little profit on them, which helps pay for the shipping supplies that I have to buy. But, you know, you guys know you see it. A lot of times, um, especially if somebody from California, the East West Coast, buys something from me, their shipping can be like $7, six, five, six, seven dollars more than what my, my, um, the shipping label is going to be. So... I decided I'm going to do this, and I have seen I've seen a large number of items that were either oversized and heavy start selling, um, like the Chewbacca mask that I sold recently, um, but puzzles and coffee mugs, I have already started to see a lot of them are starting to move because you know, they're being charged, especially if it's somebody around me, they're only being charged for like a two pound package is $7.20 versus I want to say a lot of times it was 10, 11, $12, even for somebody in the States around me. So I, I think it's kind of hard to judge exactly how much more I'm selling because it's fourth quarter. I'm going to be selling more anyway right now. But the two that stand out the most for me, though, is puzzles and coffee cups have really started moving for me. Um, and just some dolls and heavier plush. Um, I'm seeing, you know, just a big change. Now, you know, it, it, ideally, it would have been good if I had two stores to compare to, you know, if I did it in one store and not the other. But I don't have that, so I can't give you concrete numbers. 
but I'm just telling you, to me, it just seems like I'm selling a whole lot more of my either oversized items or um, heavier items. So it is what it is. Now, I didn't do it for UPS. Um, I don't do FedEx because FedEx is a is trouble for me around here. I don't have a good place that I can drop it off at that I feel confident that it's going to be safe. How about that? Um, and UPS is a drive for us. So, but I I didn't do any of those. It is just those items um, that were over a pound. So, and I've got several more examples of larger items. So when you see here, you'll notice that it's, the, the shipping is much different than if you were charging them the retail rates. All right, another puzzle that sold. This is another White Mountain. It was the um, Holiday Doors. It sold for $12.07. All right, this person bought two stuffed animals for, from me. It was a Hug Fun Yellow Rabbit and an Animal Adventure Purple Rabbit. And the two sold for $15 total. This next thing's been listed a while. His name is Macaroni this horse is and he's from Jared Lee Studios I got all of that off of the tag um I think the little pacifier looking thing was added to it as well as the the diaper looking thing I just went ahead and left it on um and it it sold for $34.75 all right cork ease women's shoes these also I'm seeing more of our shoes are selling um, these particular clogs sold for $25. LAMO, that stands for Look at Me Only. This was a red panda plush, sold for $10. Kenner Care Bears Funshine Bear from 1983 sold for $16.16. .16. I always talk about if you're going to list these vintage Care Bears, Always make sure you take a picture of the heart. See how that one's got rubbed off letters. It's important to collectors. Um, so I just always do that. And then I also take pictures of all tags. So this one is a little bit faded. Teleflora Smiley Face Coffee Cup. I just, they make you happy. They make you smile. Sold for $10.45. Again, if you've been following my what sold, you'll notice I'm selling more and more coffee cups. Hallmark Keepsake Christmas Ornament. It's a dog with a vending machine from 2007. Sold for $16. I think this is one of the ones I bought a, quite a few of them for a dollar each at a yard sale. Homeschool Curriculum. This was part of that $40 tote that Robert picked up. This was the Abeka New World History for grade 6. Sold for $53.95. Clifford, the big red dog, he's one of the larger 21-inch plush, sold for $18. He sold very quickly, within a couple of days of listing him. Wild Republic Wolf Dog Plush, 12-inch, sold for $10. Walmart, I love Walmart plush. Just, it's becoming more and more, especially the vintage stuff, more and more of my favorite, one of my favorites. Um, this was a golden brown um, Elson Industries 20-inch bear, sold for $24.22. C.E. Schmidt men's shirt, um, sold for $11.08. All right, these are pretend play mustard and ketchup. There is a Fisher Price set and there is a Little Tyke set. Neither one of these was marked, so I just kind of kept it generic. Um, I try to put the words in like pretend, play, because I don't want somebody buying this thinking that it's real. And believe me, it happens. Um, but it sold for $8.06. Beanie. Babies. Beanie. I've still got some. I list them on occasion. Like this was what I considered like three farm type animals. So I put them together um, and they sold for $10. Now I have a video out. I'll have Robert put a link or something in the descriptions. 
about Thai beanies. They're not worth the comps that you see on eBay. They're just not, most of them are not. There's probably a few exceptions. Most of them are only going to sell for a couple of bucks, but I almost daily have people sending me messages asking if I would help them with their $10,000 error code, PVC pellet, whatever. And I just always have to respond. It's not worth what the comps that you're seeing. And in the video that I did, I show you how to look at the comps to realize that it's, it's a fake sale. I wished eBay would do something to fix these so that it, it stops perpetuating this myth that you're going to make thousands and thousands of dollars off beanies because you're not. Coleco. Coleco Cabbage Patch Kids. That is the vintage, the original clothes to the original Cabbage Patch dolls. This outfit was actually on a little boy doll that I picked up. I decided to separate them and sell the doll separate. Um, but it was very cute. A little windbreaker shirt and pair of jeans sold for $33. Vintage um, flannel fleece, flannel blankets. Um, I tend to do really well with them. Um, and again, I've sold a couple of them here recently, and I think it's because um, the shipping is much more reasonable. Um, this one did have a few issues, still sold for $30.70. I tend to look more closely at blankets that either have this little, um, either a satin edging or like this one's a little polyester edging. Um, those tend to be uh, more collectible. These probably sold within a day of listing them. They are Snoopy Peanuts string lights. Um, I couldn't remove them from the lights, um, which is how I prefer to sell them. And one of the Snoopies had actually broken off of it, which all oh, that's in my descriptions. Sold very quickly though for $13. Red Cap men's uniform work pants. Um, we went to a yard sale and they were selling off a whole bunch of work clothes. Um, I want to say we paid a dollar, maybe two at the most for um, a bunch of them. And these pants have sold for $12. Hasbro Hamtaro Hamster Plush from 2002 sold for $17.95. These were from a recent estate sale that I went to um, where I bought a bunch of high-end clothing that I'm going to get listed here real soon. Promise, Shannon. Promise. I'm going to get them listed soon. Um, but these were Enzo Angiolini um, loafers sold for $26.95. I paid $2 for them. And those of you who might be interested in switching out your listings to... Um, what I did as far as um, letting your buyer pay um, the commercial rate, the eBay rate. Um, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you where it is and how to fix it. All right, next is Commonwealth Brown Bear Plush. Has the sleepy eyes. Sold for $16. Christmas sweatshirt pullover with the, it was made in the USA. Uh, sold for ten dollars. Trying to get a whole bunch of my old listings moving, y'all. Webkins, um, little. Some of them were Webkins. Some of them were the little littlekins, littlekins. Um, this was a Woodland group that I put together. You know, most of them were worth just a couple of bucks each, so I put them four of them together. Actually, I see five of them together, and it sold for twenty-two dollars and forty-five cents. Gans Cottage Collectibles. I just showed this in a video, a haul video. His name was Pumpkin. He was a little cat and his head was like jiggly. Um, sold very quickly for $8. Teradrome. I I'm down to not very many, many pieces left. I paid $40 or $45 for the G.I. Joe Teradrome. It's massive, massive. And I removed pieces and parts off of it. I still have this, the base that I'm going to list, but it's going to be a, a, a booger to get packed because it's huge. Um, these eight panels sold for $32.
Play School Spinning Ball Topper from 1996. Um, a lot of children with sensory needs um, love this toy. When I was a special ed teacher, I had these in my room because it just was something that they enjoyed you know, pushing and seeing the ball spin and the noise and just everything. Um, but it's just a fun toddler toy also. There was a time when I could sell these for $20, $25, but you know, the market has gone down on them. It This particular one sold for $10.45. Rodney Reindeer from Hallmark. Um, I pick these up quite often. A lot of times you'll find them in the Christmas sections at estate sales and um, thrift stores. Usually I can get them for, you know, a quarter, 50 cents or, you know, at the bins. So they're not, you know, not very heavy. So they're very cheap. And I tend to sell them anywhere from 15 to, to 20 bucks. This particular one sold for $15. Walmart, again, love it. Dalmatian dog with the cute little blue hat. $10.45. Whole lot of bread and butter, y'all, but that's what's paying my bills these days. Fiesta Green Frog Plush, 8 inch, sold for $10. Alvin and the Chipmunks, um, 9 inch Simon, sold for $10.45. I talked about this in my video on Cole's Cares. I do brand videos on occasion. Um, and this is one of the single items that you can get quite a bit of money for um, that's made by Coles Cares. It's from a book called Click Clack Moo. This is the sheep. The cow does just as well. Um, this um, lamb plush sold for $53.95. There's several lambs that are um, Coles Cares. It's got to be the one with the black feet. I think all the other ones are just normal tan or whatever color, light brown, um, but it's the one with the black feet. Cherish Teddy's Soccer and Cookie Bear Plush. These are by Inesco. Sold for $15.25. I think the selling point for these was it, you know, it had its accessories and it had its paper tags. Jimmy tend to pick up most things Jimmy. This was an animated eyeball that opens up and makes sounds. I did have a video showing that it worked. $17.95. Jurassic World Dilo, Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus? Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus. <laughs> Dinosaur sold for $17.95. Coffee mug. Publix. I just found this. I think this was one of the ones I bought when I was down visiting Tea and Pickers. Um, and I want to say I paid a quarter for a whole bunch of coffee mugs. Um, this Publix green one sold for $12. Little Tykes Cozy Coop. Now this is the really small one that goes with the, um, what are they called? Toddle Tots. Those little round, um, little tykes figures. There's one that's a little bit bigger than this that goes with the dollhouse. Um, it has like an open and shut door and then of course there's the child size one. Um, this one sold for $8.96. Gond White Bear 15 inch $8.88. Now this is a viewer sell. Tracy um, treated herself for her birthday, bought this um, leather jacket for me for $189.61. So thank you, thank you so much, Tracy. It was a beautiful jacket. Eden, I love Eden plush. And then I love the Beatrix Potter character plush. This was Pigling Pig plush, sold for $8.02. People Pals by a and a. This orangutan, orangutan monkey sold for $15.17. It's that time of year for Halloween stuff. She's kind of, you know, the rush is gone for most of them because it is this weekend. And um, now it's Thanksgiving. So I sold this um, 
Pilgrim doll set from Gifts and Greetings for $14. We picked this up this summer at an estate sale. I want to say I paid a dollar for it. It's by Gans, and this man actually is holding that little thing in his hand. It holds a soda can. It's an or a beer can, but it's it holds it. Very interesting. Sold for $13. Mattel Monster High. I still haven't listed all of them. I need to clean up a few of them. Their hair is dirty. Um, but I haven't touched the clothes yet. But this is Draculaura and Frankie Stein, and the two dolls sold for $22. They're, it seems to me they're kind of the more common, tons of them out there. This is Hasbro Pokemon Meowth from 1998. I think this is, was in that lot of plush where I went to a yard set and I bought them all for a dollar each because of my little snuzzles right there. I just went ahead and bought them all. Um, this particular one sold for $8.96. This also was one of the items I picked up when we were down visiting Tea and Pickers. I bought a bag that had veggie tails in it, um, little pet shop stuff, and the Pixel Chicks. This little tiny compact sold for $26.95. And y'all, this is my big sale. Terry cloth, terry cloth plush. Always look it up. Terry cloth and waffle weave. Um, this one is from Kids Gift. It was um, terry cloth bear with the primary colors. Um, color block is a good word for this. And I stuck to my guns on this one too. Lots of lowball offers, but. I ended up taking an offer of $125 for this bear. Definitely keep your eyes out. Anytime you see terry cloth on a plush, look it up, look it up. All right, I'm going to show you now how to go in and change your listings. You can buy if you aren't interested, but I did want to go ahead and show us. I'll probably do another video just so it'll be a quick one for anybody who hasn't watched this and still wants to learn how to do it. But go up here where it says your name, hi, whatever. Go into account settings. Scroll down here to shipping preferences under the selling category. And then you're gonna scroll down. This is also where you can opt into eBay international shipping if different topic, but if you're interested in checking that out, uh, but you're going to scroll down here to where it says offer discounts to buyers. You're going to edit that. Now I did the eBay discounted rates. It would have probably said something else there. And um, I changed it to that. Now you could also go in and do discounted rates um, where you can do like a percent and still make a little bit of profit on your stuff. I'm just, I'm all in at this point, all in. Um, and then you just save. And then that's how easy it is. There was an option if I wasn't in that screen already where you could also change your, your FedEx and UPS also. All right, y'all, that was a long video. <laughs> Lots of stuff selling for me. I got to get working on clothes though. I have neglected them and after this whatnot show on Saturday, I'm really going to focus the next few days on getting clothes processed, getting clothes listed. Toys are too much, too much fun, easy. Clothes are, clothes can be tough. See, I've already thrown a shirt up there, but I haven't done anything with it yet. All right, get to work. Bye.